Hey there, Libra, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your weekly reading. In this reading, we're going to take a look at past, present, and near future energies, as well as any energies the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week. Also, Libra, please remember that if someone is strongly energetically connected to you, they may show up in your reading, so take the energies as they resonate. They may be reversible between you and the person that you are connected to. Okay, Libra, the main energy that you're going to be dealing with this week is the Page of Cups. You want to open up towards somebody. You may want to even apologize to, to somebody, um, but there's definitely some feelings that you're caring for somebody here. So let's see. In your recent past, you get the Six of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Emperor. You are showing up here feeling really, really good about a connection. It could be a marriage. It could be something that has the like intensity and seriousness of a marriage. You're showing up as feeling very, very good and very much kind of like in your power like i'm grounded i'm stable i know what i need i know what i got everything's good i like it in your current situation you get the fool the ten of cups and the star you really really want a brand new beginning it's not like a beginning in love a beginning in a career you kind of want like clean slate energy which is beautiful because you know that this clean slate is going to bring in a lot of happiness so we'll see what that is that's your desire in the current situation whether or not that's coming true we'll see when we clarify in your near future, you get the Four of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. You, again, are going from the Page of Cups as your main energy to the Knight of Cups in the near future. Your feelings are intensifying and they're growing. And you may have this desire to make an offer to somebody or somebody's making an offer to you. Now, there's also a lot of clarity coming in in the near future with whatever this offer is. So it could be that you're getting crystal clear on like how you feel about this person and you're like, hey, I'm going to go tell them. Uh, or they may be making an offer to you where you're like, whoa, this makes a lot of sense now. So we'll see. Let's clarify. Let's take a look at the six of wands in your recent past. See what you feel good about, what you feel successful about, what feels good to you. Six of wands is clarified by the five of cups, the empress and the wheel of fortune. Okay. Something here in the recent past went down between you and a person or a situation. I feel intuitively like this is a person because the Empress is showing up here, which is telling me that whoever this person is, um, you care a lot about them. You look at them like the best thing that's happened to you since sliced bread. And you really, really want to feel good about your connection, about how you are with this person. Problem is there was a lot of pain in the recent past. Something happened between you and them. You may have had a fight. You may regret how things went down. Either way, in the recent past, I see things changing. There was a lot of good energy coming in to replace whatever this pain was with this person and replace it with really good, positive energy. Um, and with the Wheel of Fortune there, it's also telling you that the way things went down, the way things unfolded, it was meant to happen that way. So it's not like, you know, you did something, they did something. Like, it was meant to happen. Let's take a look at the Hierophant in your recent past. See what this intense connection is. Oh, that's a lot of pages. The Hierophant is clarified by the Page of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. You are slowly, slowly learning how to make this connection work in the recent past. I feel like this is a really intense connection between you and this person. Okay, you get the Empress, you get the Hierophant, like... This connection means a lot. This isn't just somebody that you met and you're like, oh, we went for coffee. No. Um, in the recent past, you're showing up as taking small steps towards really learning how to make things work, how to make this connection work, how to have a feeling that you are working within this connection where you're not feeling suffocated or you're not feeling like this connection is too much um, or you're not being too much. Just really figuring out like the, the logistics of how to make this work for the both of you. Let's take a look at the Emperor in your recent past. The Emperor is clarified by the Two of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. The energy that I'm getting from this, this could be your person. I don't feel like this is you because you're showing up as wanting to figure out how to make things work. I feel like this is your person just kind of sitting there waiting back, especially if you're dealing with an Aries, just sitting there waiting back and being like, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for Libra to make a move. Libra needs to make things right. Libra needs to take action to balance out the energies between us. I'm not budging. I'm not moving. I'm just sitting here and waiting. And you can even see on this card, this girl's literally like, 
you know, standing with her two wands and she's just looking into the horizon, waiting for Libra to come in and make things right. And I feel like you will, Libra, to be honest. <laughs> Let's take a look at the Fool in your current situation. The Fool is clarified by the Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Chariot. You want a new beginning. You want a fresh, clean start. Totally clean. Totally fresh. But you're confused. You need to make a decision. You don't need to do anything, right? But the energy is telling me that you're in, right now you're in an energetic place of making the decision of whether you want to move towards this new beginning, to start fresh, um, to basically reignite the spark with this person. Because like I said, I feel like this is somebody from your past. So start over with this person or just move along. Do you want to keep moving, moving in a different direction? Or do you want to reignite the spark with this person? That's kind of the energy. You're like, ah, I don't know. Which one do I pick? What should I do? There's a little bit of confusion in the current situation, but I see that resolving in about two seconds. Let's take a look at the Ten of Cups in your current situation because there's a lot of happiness coming from something here. Okay, I was not expecting that, Libra. The Ten of Cups is clarified by the Seven of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the world. You're ending something here. You're ending something here and it's bringing you a lot of happiness. Whatever it is, this cycle that you are closing out, you're walking away from this. You're walking away from the breakup. You're walking away from the pain. You're walking away from all that. You're closing out that cycle and it's bringing in a lot of happiness. Now, I don't know if you're walking away from the connection, okay, if you're walking away from this person, but you are definitely walking away from whatever pain or whatever fear is tied up to the separation that you guys may have experienced in the past. That cycle is closing out in the current situation and a lot of happiness is coming in. Lots and lots and lots of happiness is coming in. Interesting. Let's take a look at the star in your current situation. Man, I was not expecting that. I'm going to be honest. The star is clarified by the hermit, the ace of swords and the high priestess. And you get the ace of swords in the same row in your near future. You're gaining a lot of clarity in this current situation, Libra. It's almost like your soul is asking for this clarity. Your intuition, your, your subconscious, your soul, they're all aligning and they're just asking the universe, give me some clarity, man. Let me get clarity. Let me understand what's going on. Am I making the right decision? Am I on the right path? It's like you're literally just sitting there looking up at the sky like, I need to know. Help me understand. And in the near future with the Ace of Swords, Libra, I feel like you're going to get the clarity that you want. But we'll see when we clarify. Let's take a look at the Four of Cups in your near future. Four of Cups is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Eight of Swords. Okay. In the near future, you may have a pattern, Libra when you're confused about something or you're unhappy about something or everything's not going exactly how you want it to, you may have a pattern of going up into your head and overthinking the heck out of it. And so I feel like whatever it is you're deciding to end in the current situation, in the near future, it's still kind of like dragging on where you're overthinking and thinking and overthinking and thinking. And you're like, oh my God, did I make the right decision? Did I not? Did I decide correctly? Did I not? Um, this overthinking is keeping you stuck, by the way, in this energy too. And this may be a pattern of yours with the devil showing up here. It's telling me that this could be a pattern of yours where the second things don't go exactly how you want them to, you go straight up into your head and you're like, let me think about this. Maybe I, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe this wasn't the right thing to do. Um, so I don't know. You would know if this is a pattern that you have or if this is your person's energy. Let's take a look at the Knight of Cups in the near future and see what you want to open up towards. What is this love coming in? Interesting. Okay, Libra. And you got, okay, I love it when they align. You got the Hierophant in your recent past and in the same row in the near future. Um, to clarify the Knight of Cups, you get the Page of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Hierophant. There's a strong connection here. Whatever connection it is, or whatever it is that you were slowly figuring out how to work on in the past, in the near future is showing up again, but it's showing up with a lot of love attached to it. Whatever you were working on in the past in this connection, is showing up as 
not only is the connection still there, but there's a ton of love attached to it as well. And I see you opening up. There's passion, there's love, there's feelings. I see you slowly moving in that direction of like, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to approach this. I'm going to do this. And by the way, you have all the pages. Pages are all about communication. You get page of wands, pentacles, swords, and cups. So there's definitely communication um, and messages coming from you towards another person. Let's take a look at the Ace of Swords in the near future. You got the Four of Swords that popped out. Give me two more for the Ace of Swords in the near future for Libra. Wow, I love it. The Ace of Swords is clarified by the Four of, the, 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 the Four of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles. In the near future, that clarity of what should I do? Did I make the right decision? What you were asking for in the current situation? You're going to get it. And not only are you going to get it, you're going to get a lot of healing along with this clarity. You're going to become crystal clear on what needs to be healed and how you can bring in happiness to your life and how you can make that work. It's like you ask for the clarity and the universe is like, all right, you need to think about this a little bit more. They're sending this in. You may have overthought about it too much, but then it becomes crystal clear and you're like, okay, I need to heal. This is what I need to do. This is how I'm going to be happy. And this is, this is like the steps that I need to follow in order to achieve this happiness. I love it. It's beautiful energy. Very beautiful. Let's take a look at what the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week, Libra. From the universe, you get the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. You're showing up as single right now, Libra, and that's stressing you out a little bit. I'm, I'm laughing because I'm detached from it, so I can see I can see where this is going. I see where the energies are going, but for you, this is quite stressful in the current situation. You're showing up as single, and you're showing up as almost like waiting for your stability to come in, for you to feel good about this whole situation. And instead of feeling good about it, you kind of feel a little bit stressed out about it. Um, but you're still waiting. You're still hopeful. It's not like you're just like, oh, doom and gloom. You're like, yeah, this sucks, but I know something better is coming in. Uh, and you're right. Something better is coming in in the near future. So Libra, that is what I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this reading resonated, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me out. And I will see you here for your reading next week. Bye Libra.